Hi, I'm Emil Salvini, author and historian, and these are Tales of the Jersey Shore. Today we're in Asbury Park, New Jersey, made famous by our old state troubadour, Bruce Springsteen. The segment today is on boardwalks of New Jersey. We take these for granted. They run in size from 200 feet to five miles in Atlantic City, but very few of us ever wonder why they exist. Today I'm gonna to begin by building a segment of the original Asbury Park boardwalk. Let's get started. Voila! The first boardwalk in Asbury Park, New Jersey in the late 19th century. While not the best quality image, this extremely rare photo shows the first Asbury Boardwalk in the foreground. When winter came, it was moved to higher ground. The current Asbury Park Boardwalk was rebuilt in 2004. The old casino, pictured here, is still in disrepair, but plans are in the works for a restoration. So it's said that necessity is the mother of invention, and in reality, while boardwalks today are used for amusement parks and quiet walks along the Atlantic Ocean, they were originally built to keep this stuff, sand, out of the beautiful plush hotels and Pullman cars that started to come to the Jersey Shore and be built in the late 19th century. Do you know why boardwalks were invented? Well, it was probably to keep the sands out of people's shoes. Uh, secondly, probably for entrepreneurs to make some money. I'll take a stab at it. I believe they were invented just to keep the sand at bay. So it protects beautiful restaurants and everything. We have our landmarks over here and protects pretty much the town from getting destroyed from big storms and everything. I think they were invented for me because I love walking on them. Well, sometimes I feel that I just like to walk along the beach and, you know, not get all sandy and, you know. So I think that maybe they invented boardwalks because, you know, people just wanted to take a stroll but not get all sandy. As the hotels became more luxurious, the need to keep sand on the beach and out of the buildings became more important. The Blenheim Hotel in Atlantic City was the place to be seen and one of the grand ladies of America's playground. The Hotel Dennis, Atlantic City, pictured with one of the boardwalks. The current boardwalk is the fifth walkway. The Ritz-Carlton, home to the original Enoch Nucky Johnson, his name was changed in Boardwalk Empire to Thompson to give the writers more poetic license. The glorious interiors of the Traymore in Atlantic City and the Hotel Cape May in Cape May. No sand allowed. So as the boardwalks grew in size, they became more than just sand catchers. They became a location for amusements, stores, and all types of oddities. Here we see number one Atlantic Ocean in Atlantic City the home of Captain John Lake Young. Built at the end of his million dollar pier, he entertained numerous celebrities, including the guest of honor here, President Taft. As seen here during the Easter parade in Atlantic City, as the resorts grew, so did the boardwalks and crowds. Motion picture star Dagmar on a roller chair on the Asbury Boardwalk. Yes, Asbury Park did have roller chairs and they were not an exclusive of Atlantic City. You might even come upon Abbott and Costello enjoying a ride in an old school wicker roller chair. Sadly, many New Jersey boardwalks are just ghosts that we can only imagine today. A fire in the 1980s claimed the Long Branch Boardwalk Amusement Pier. The once popular Cliffwood Beach Boardwalk and its saltwater pool are now just memories. Few people remember that Beach Haven on Long Beach Island once had a boardwalk. It was lost in the Great Atlantic Hurricane of 1944. This was the Asbury Park Boardwalk before the riots changed the city forever. A renaissance is now taking place. So as you can see, the Asbury Park Boardwalk has evolved quite a bit over the years. The next time you're on your favorite boardwalk, think of those planks on the sand and why they were originally put there keep sand out of the hotels and the Pullman cars. Till next time, this is Emil Salvini for Tales of the Jersey Shore. 
Keep your eye on NJTV for more episodes.